Okay, so in um, a recent Hackerbox, we got one of these um, STM32 uh, STM dev boards, um, nice and tiny, and used it to create the pill dock and a few other things. One other thing that you can do with these that I wanted to try was um, is to turn using one of the blue pills that I have is to turn it into a a black magic probe. So uh, what what's a black magic probe? It is a um, it is a debugging tool, much like the STM tool, but it um, uh, supports JTAG, so you can use it to dump firmwares off of things uh, that are using an STM32 or an STM chip, um, as well as a number of other different uh, ARM Cortex uh, chips as well. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Okay, so we clone the GitHub repository for Blackmagic Probe from Black Sphere Labs into a directory, and then we build it. So make runs pretty uneventfully. Um, there's some warnings that get generated, but nothing of the ordinary. Cool. And so then it's um, make clean and make and going into the source directory, make clean, make um, with uh, probe host equal ST link, yeah, which indicates to me that an ST link might be um, might be converted into a uh, black magic probe as well. And I've got a couple of them, so I might try that. Okay, so after you've run the device firmware updater DFU util to put the bootloader onto this thing, then what you need to do is connect. Um, a serial programmer to it. So just any basic FTDI um, 232 um, programmer that you've got uh, kicking around from from past projects. Um, these One of these I'm sure came in a hacker box previously, but if you don't have one of these you should get yourself one because um, they come in handy for uh, programming all kinds of things. <clears throat> so yeah, um, uh, it's pretty straightforward. There are four pins that you need to worry about. You need to to power the chip um, and ground, so so yeah, plus five um, ground that goes to VCC, which is the third pin. That's clear to send, and then that's ground. So purple goes to oh yeah, I got those backwards. Usually do purple goes to ground plus five, and then you've got your TX and RX, and so this is RX and TX, which is orange and yellow. Um, and I'm thinking that those go to 9 and 10, and I forget which order they come in. So yes, except pin 9 is RXD, so it goes to TX on this side. So yeah, you swap them. So there, that's the setup for um, doing your programming. So we attach our FTDI USB serial device um, to our, our blue pill, and then we run this. So, minus E minus Y minus B, can't init. So, that's the, uh, the boot uh, jumper that you need to reset in order to put it into boot mode. Right there. So, that's boot 0 is in 1, and that's, oops boot zero. That's the resting spot for the jumper. There you go. And then once it's flashed, you've got yourself a black magic probe. So yeah, now when we plug that into USB, we've got a black magic. Okay, so because I don't have a, um, because I didn't have, I have to use sudo because I don't have a, um, what's, what's it called, a DMS, uh, rules, a uh, rule for uh, USB here, and then you just pop this little guy in. I had to um, unplug it and reboot it, and it downloaded the firm, 
firmware. And so now we've got the, <coughs> the Blackmagic firmware on our ST link, or STM32 board. And there we go. So DFU util minus L, I have a Blackmagic firmware. And yeah, we're all done. Okay, and then we see that we have two new devices. Um, TTY ACM0 and TTY ACM1. Apparently, the first one is um, connecting to our device, and the other one is the port that goes to GDB. So, what we're doing is we're this Blackmagic probe is looking like a serial port, I think. Okay, so we've got our debugger. Let's figure out if we can debug what was on the black uh, the black pill, which was our um, which is our pill duck, and I think we've got this cooked up correctly. Analog five goes to clock. Um, P fourteen goes to WDIO, and then power and ground. And yes, look at that. We've got a STM32F1 that we found. And so let's attach to it. Cool. So it looks like it, it's working. So now all that's left is learning how to use GDB. So you can do all kinds of things. You can write to the binary. Hmm. Anyways, so yeah, we've got GDB hooked up to our our uh, board, and now we can uh, debug STM32 devices. Easy peasy. So uh, I don't know. Now I have to go and learn how to use GDB. Maybe. Anyways. That was interesting for a little uh, diversion there, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.